Hi, grade eight. It's Mrs. Dalal. Today we are going to do a listening activity. That's why I want you to open your student's book, Unit 6, open page 46. What you are going to do are exercises number 1 and 3. So, all you have to do now is to listen very carefully to what I am going to read because actually you do not have the text in front of you. So just listen, please, very carefully. I am going actually to read a dialogue between an interviewer and an archaeologist. So, the interviewer starts the dialogue. So, tell me, what were you like when you were a child? Have you always been interested in archaeology? Archaeologist. Yes, I have. I was always very curious about things, which is important for an archaeologist. I've always been interested in finding out about the past. I used to find rocks around where I lived and wanted to know what they were. Archaeology is like solving a mystery. The first archaeology site I worked at was in Loa, in the U.S. It is a Native American village. I found things that were hundreds of years old, buried deep in the ground interviewer and where do you work now archaeologist I teach students at a university but every summer I take students on a research trip to a site in Armenia in fact I have just returned from one of these trips interviewer can you tell us about a typical day there? Archaeologist We get up at 4.30 a.m. Because we have to do 8 hours of work before it gets too hot. After breakfast, we start work. At just after 5 a.m. We have a break at about 9 a.m. And then we go back to work until our next break. By now, it's boiling hot. At 1 p.m., we go back to our campsite for a shower and to have lunch. Then we have a free time until about 4 p.m. When we return to the site classroom for a few hours to make notes about the objects we found. In the evening, we listen to talks about different aspects of archaeology. Then, we have dinner at about 7.30 p.m. and we are so tired then that we often go straight to bed an hour later. Interviewer Has anyone ever found anything really interesting on a trip? Archaeologist Yes! A few years ago, an archaeologist found the world's oldest leather shoe at a site called Vayot Zor. The shoe was 1,000 years older than the Great Pyramid of Giza. It's that kind of discovery that makes archaeology so wonderful. When you touch an object from someone's life so long ago, you feel a connection with that person. 
It makes them human. And you just forget that thousands of years have passed between their life and yours. Interviewer. What are the biggest rewards that come with your job? Archaeologist. The biggest reward is that I spend my whole day thinking and talking about something that I find absolutely amazing. I'm never bored with my job. I've been able to travel to some amazing places. So students, this was the dialogue between the interviewer and the archaeologist. What I want you to do after listening many times to what I have just read is to answer or do the following exercises. First, page 46, you do number one. I want you to guess the jobs that people have in the photographs on page 46. Look at the photographs that you see in this page. And then I want you to write down the jobs that people have on your English copybook. Also, I want you to do number three, which is circle the correct answer. Also, you can do this on the book. No need to write them on your English copybook. You can do them on the book. Circle the correct answer. I'll send you the answers on Saturday in five days. Good work.